the whole idea of this, you know, in a nutshell, is to showcase those skills and those talents that are going to best serve um, a cowboy, whether he is gathering off, you know, mountain range, wide pasture, he's working corrals, he's working alleys, he has to move cattle brought down a highway. And so the dogs become extremely valuable in that partnership. And so all the things we do out here are just testing pieces of those skills um, that are going to be useful in those situations. And most of these dogs do come from ranching backgrounds. That is what they're used for. Relationship with animals is uh, priceless. But, uh... Yeah, we're do doing something with our horse and our dog. Just what we love. Anybody can do it. You know, it just any age. Yeah, yeah <laughs> look at us. You know, we're at the uh, well, at least for me. I'm yeah. really getting up there, but I still it's I can fun. still climb up on my horse. You know, even if I have to get a ladder. It's a yeah. challenge. It's challenging. Keeps your mind active. Because you're working the, with the dog and the horse and all those cattle. A lot to yeah, think about. I'm from Creston, BC. We, we just, we like to do some of this working cow dogs type thing. We like horses, we like dogs, and so, so it's a good combination of uh, a fun event with fun people. Walk up. Come by. Hey, come by. There. It's, uh, what we do for fun. It's the only thing that makes us want to leave the farm. In the morning, uh, in the dark, I've got 250 cows that are like three quarters of a mile away over two or three hills. And uh, I just send one of the dogs. I, I got five dogs that are capable of, of doing that job. Uh, they all do it a little bit different, but I just send them and I sit and drink my coffee and read the paper and uh, pretty soon here they they start coming over the hill. The event itself showcases the dogs in a different manner um, in a teamwork approach. You know, um, you, it takes uh, you know a good ranch horse, a good hand with a ranch horse and with a dog. Obviously, uh, it takes a great dog. You know, they're little gladiators. We, we ask them to go out and, and we ask a 35 pound dog at the most sometimes and weight to move six, 700 pound steers. It's part of our job too. Yes. We take care of some cattle for a ranch up here and we need good horses and a good dog or two good dogs can replace four or five good riders. Again, I'll take that little call in. I oh, won't pet her on her head. I'll pet her back here. She's comfortable to come in. This is always she left before I sent her, but that's all right. I was going to lie down, lie down. Come in, come in, come on, Chili. Jelly, come in. Lie down now. Lie down. Lie down. I just want to be able to. Wait until I do send her. It makes it a lot easier. For your pup. To understand the sheep belong to you. Lie down. She knows that it's time to lie down or hold up just almost naturally or by instinct. And that's, that's the part about using these sheep. 
once they're kind of dog broke, to reinforce your your lie down and your, your call in. At this point, we're gonna move on to some calves, some light calves that are dog broke. And I wanted to be able to demonstrate why a little bunch is a real asset to start out with. When we get to that bigger bunch, you can see the advantage. That'll do now, Chili. 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 That'll do. That'll do. Good girl. Lie down now. Lie down. Lie down. Critters that they need to move towards me. And that's mainly the the idea is to show the progression from a little bunch to a big bunch. If I can see that she's not, if she needs some help, I'll go help her. But I, I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and let her put that pressure on, give her that confidence builder that she can move these stock, these cattle. She's got all the, the makings of a champion. I, I love to emphasize the advantage of being a horseback. It helps the cattle, gives them some direction. It helps that dog, and it gives you that ability to rise above the, the action and tell just where, where she's at. So what, what this is all about is the combination of you and your dog and your horse working as a team. That was just exactly what I wanted to do. Come off balance and come by side. Putting that pressure on. I'll let these cattle follow me a little bit. I'll call her off again. Give her another little. Give her another little dose. Hello. <whistles> Inside off balance. How about that? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be fun? That that is one natural little gal. That she's due for a drink. We give her a little, little sip, put her up. Yeah, you and your horse and your dog. That's the story out working cows. That's what it's all about. Come on, Chili. Now we had a little mix up here today. These cattle are gonna be weighed in a week or so and they got some of the yellow tags in with the blue tags and they gotta be cut out. So we're gonna try to make this happen here in the corner of the field. But we don't have to go to the corral and rough them up and disturb them only just a minimum. So. As you see these uh, yellow tags come out, they're mostly all black, of course, but the game here is uh, cut the yellows away from the, the blue tags. And the purpose of uh, demonstrating this little operation is to, to give you a, a prime example of a, a roe deer out on the ranch in a real live situation. We want you to be able to see the advantage of using your dog with your horse out in the pasture to accomplish a goal with a reasonable amount of activity.
And I just had to move them back enough so we got a little air. I see one over here on the edge. I just kind of sneak around here and give that, give the old steer a chance to move off of me and the dog. It's like to the two power. Now them cattle, we haven't messed them up too bad. They're still real curious. And they have a, an attitude to cooperate with what we're trying to do. Forcing the dog, not really. Getting in the steer's hair, you just give him a little pressure. You got a little relief. So we'll go for another one. I'm over here now, and I I got another yellow tag. With his head pointed out. I'm going to use that dog to kind of feather them blue tags in. Right, come in, come in, bring the dog in. Then I'll trot a little bit just to make up some time, just to move, move out. Come on, he's still thinking. Still thinking. Still thinking he hasn't released. I'll reinforce the dog. I'll call him off. And then I'll push on him with my horse. Give him a little boost. Looking for another yellow tag. Kind of a kind of a little game. I'll keep looking on the edge for yellow. I'll let my dog play the outside, and I'll fish around in here for a yellow tag on the edge. Got one spotted. I'll just start easing him out. When I see the right time, I'll bring my dog in, give him that little extra. I want to kind of clean them out. Light. Come in. Come in. There's a natural. As soon as I brought my dog in. I had to. Here's a kind of an interesting situation. You know, the yellow was about to leave and he changed. He's not sure. This one will come back. The, Bolly, and I'll just slide into him at his shoulder, kind of put the pressure on that shoulder. Me and the dog again, the old partnership. It's sure better than foot back. You gotta keep. I'm back on the two power. He's thinking, ah, I'm outnumbered again. God dang it, I'm gonna have to go. It's pressure. I'm 
Kind of like they're enjoying that cud. Really interrupted his afternoon cud, so he gives him a easy walk. You want the dog to keep picking up that walk out. Keep walking them out so they... Aye, aye, lie down! Come in! Walk, bite, walk, walk, walk. I want him to walk. Get a drink. Get over there and get yourself a sip. Stuck here in the back end. It's not the way I like to do it, but sometimes when you feel it slipping, you got to turn up the heat. I had a yellow tag spotted and light, light. And he slipped through my fingers. <laughs> we'll see him here in a minute. Straight in, boy. Does that ever help? Good boy. Here we go again. We got, I hope, I'm thinking it might be our last yellow tag. Keep them walking straight in. Walk, walk up. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, walk, walk. Walk easy. Keep looking. Walk, walk, walk. Just keep them Walk easy. Walk. Just give them a little boost. Walk, walk. Get a drink, get a drink. They're awful close to the bottom of this deal. They're awful close. Let's 
Sergeant Preston would say to his good dog King, this case is closed. Yeah, you and your horse and your dog. That's the story out working cows. That's what it's all about. Come on, Chili. <laughs> <laughs>